Hey guys, this is Lord's Lair here, back again, like 30 seconds later from the whole Venom Pool wave that I had to re-review because my files became corrupted. So, sad day, but hey, I got to do what I love again, so whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But here is what we're doing this time. Domino. It is uh, from the Deadpool MCU wave. Uh, we actually reviewed the cable not too long back. You guys can go back on my videos if you would like to see that as my very first review. So we're going to get down to some box art on Domino here. As you can see, it really resembles the cable figure, uh, just like the cable figure. It appears to look like Deadpool has marked everything out and uh, put their code names in. So this was her actual name, I'm assuming. I haven't actually been able to see through it. But anyway, Marvel's Domino is what Deadpool wrote there. And as you can see, he's put his logo over the X-Men logo. Same on the top. And as with Cable Figure, the silhouettes on the sides and back of the packaging. Uh, no description on the figure or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, though, the figure does look really good in package. So I'm going to pop her open. We're going to look at articulation and accessories and see what you guys think. Okay, let's get this beautiful square packaging out of the way. And upon first glance, this figure is actually very pleasing. Some good articulation from what I've played around with already. She was not very hard to balance or anything. Uh, honestly, I thought she might be with the big hair, but uh, not. She was not very hard to balance. Her hair is almost uh, translucent. I don't know if you guys can see that really well. Probably can in a lot like I have it. Um, we're going to move on to accessories here. She has an alternate head. This is a slight smirk. Not much of a difference at all. But I will place that on the figure and let you guys see that here in just a moment. She has two Uzis like this. First time we've seen those guns. And then she has her pistol as well that goes in her holster here. We're going to move on to articulation here and then I'll put some accessories on her and let you see how she looks. So, as far as articulation goes on this figure, she does have an ankle rocker. She does not have a calf swivel though, which is very unfortunate. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the cast swivel because it really helps balance figures when you're uh, posing them. Uh, she does have a double joint at the knee, which is very smooth. Honestly, one of the smoothest moving joints I believe I've ever felt. Um, she does have a, uh, a rocker there at the torso, but not a waist swivel. She has a single joint at the elbow. And then as far as the range of motion goes on the head, there isn't much back from where the uh, original point was, but she can look down a decent amount. So again, that is all the way down and then all the way up. So not a huge range of motion. Uh, not as not, not much as, as far as uh, articulation goes with this figure, but it looks really good. Uh, I'm going to put some accessories on her and give you a close-up of what she looks like here. Here she is all posed up with her accessories this is the alternate head and if you wonder what that peg looks like under this head just think of the new newest winter soldier we got or the cable figure that i reviewed and that is how it is don't love that style but uh it's okay and that extra pistol actually went on the uh, holster there on her right hip So a very pleasing figure, to be honest with you. I will show you this. She has the uh, heel, if you will, the heel on her shoe, which usually makes it pretty rough posing female figures. And as you can see, oh, never mind. I was going to say she stood up really well, but she had to go and prove me wrong. And there you are. I'm going to show you her with the cable figure. So these are the two that I've managed to get my hands on from this wave so far. As you can see, they do look really good together. So that is all for Domino here. 
I hope you guys enjoy. This is Lord's Lair, your source of out-of-this-world gaming and reviews. And this was Domino. Hope you guys really enjoyed. And if you did, please leave me a like, share my post, subscribe, whatever you will. But anyway, I thank you for watching.